Howdy y'all, I'm Shmi, hello and welcome back to the channel where you join me today here in Houston, Texas, bringing the British weather all the way across the pond. We're here at zero to 60 to meet up with Unspeakable. We're gonna be catching up with Nathan inside to take a look at his fabulous collection of cars, but also a world's first opportunity to see his new venture here at Zero to 60 Society and also Zero to 60 Customs and the plans that he's got in the works for the new channel as well. We're talking the cars inside, some big projects, some really exciting firsts that he's done as well. Very exciting for me to be here with my car we actually met here in houston last year but this time around we're going to be shooting a little piece together so let's head straight inside get out of this awful british style weather go catch up with nathan and check out the cars I tell you what, it has not been fun driving this car on the Cup 2R track tyres in this weather. It has been appalling, but it is very exciting to be here because when I stopped by Houston last year to go to McLaren Houston, I met with Nathan for the first time and he told me about this project that was in the works. The new channel, he's filmed some videos with the Hamilton collection, done all sorts of things, but here we are, 0 to 60 Customs on one side, the 0 to 60 Society on the other. He's just hanging inside at the moment, but let's drive this on inside and take a look out towards the left side at the collection of cars we are going to be checking out today awesome stuff right let me leave this here before bringing too much rainwater indoors go say hello all right how's Nathan, how are you doing good to see you man you too good to see welcome, you again welcome to zero to 60. thank you this is cool it's very cool this has been a project that i've been wanting to do i would say ever since i'm born because uh, <laughs> I've always been into cars. But no, this vision kind of uh, inspired me about like two or three years ago to kind of design a co-working office space that was mixed with supercar exotic car storage. And uh, three years later, it's built. Here we so. are. We've got some of your cars here. Yep. We've got the final stages of construction because I know you've not shown this before, so it's super no, exciting so to be here. You, yeah, y'all are the first people to ever see this. We're still going under construction. We have some painters in there. There's a bunch of missing lights and stuff. So when we walk through, you'll see that. But um, yeah, we have all the cars lined up. It's a pretty big space too. Um, we actually have two buildings as well. So this is building number one. This is the bigger one. And Goodness, then, so this will all be a bit of storage, a bit of the co-working spaces you said with all of the offices looking out at the cars. Yeah, so these are all the offices. Um, so, I mean, you could see an office right here. So this could be an office that someone could lease out from us. Um, it's a pretty good sized space too. Um, it's a huge space. I'm it, looking it, around and I'm very, very jealous. <laughs> but even, even the offices, like yeah. this is a good sized room. Like you could fit like three or four people in here if you wanted to, maybe like a little breakfast table um, and then offices down there and then they line up down this way as well, and then obviously upstairs. Well, so. we're gonna go and check that out shortly because there are some other things upstairs. It is very, yes, we have <laughs> a uh, very awesome entertainment room upstairs. Which... But let's, let's talk cars for a moment because we're gonna head over or maybe talk a bit more about Zero to 60 Customs as well. Because like you said, you've always been into projects and I'm yeah. just gonna point out at this stage that your G-Wagon isn't a factory four by four. No. You've done this. No, it was a little baby. No. Only, only a year ago, so. That's kind of crazy. Yeah. So, okay, let's start where we are right now. 600 LT. Yep. Track car, you've driven it on track? Yep, 600 LT. Uh, haven't really done anything on this car except for downpipes. So, big, massive flames. Um, you've changed the hood, though. And the hood, yes, yes, and the hood. Um, track car, then we have the GT2 RS. Uh, we did Dundon exhaust on this one, and then we did AL13 wheels. These wheels, oh my gosh, they're just beautiful. Um, they have the carbon barrel as yeah. well. So the whole barrel around it is carbon fiber. Um, and then it's kind of like that older, like five spoke design that it I reminds really you of enjoyed. the kind of seventies Porsches that yeah. kind of that, that look, and they are seriously wide and like up in the arches. Yeah. And then AL 13 did this for us. If you can see that, I don't know if you can see it. We'll grab a phone, thing. get a light on it. Yeah. But they put zero to 60 customs Ooh. engraved in the wheel. That was That's cool. cool. So yeah, that was a really cool touch. I was super excited for that. So. When it comes to boys and toys, having your own logo on the wheel is like... Yeah, I was just like, what? Y'all can do this? <laughs> there it is. I was like, that is so cool. That's crazy. So yeah. let's talk about this because this is the car we met with last year. 
Yeah, about a year ago. Recently finished it. Yeah. It was actually exactly this time. I came out to Houston just ahead of SEMA. Yeah. Just before going to SEMA. But this was a regular new AMG G63. Yes. The normal four liter bi turbo, 585 horsepower, 577 brake horsepower, yep. regular height car. It didn't have these axles. It didn't have these arches. It didn't have that hood or presumably the engine upgrades. No. So talk us through this, no, the idea I mean, behind this. Yeah, I mean, this is a full build. So we did the full kit for it. We did, we had to build these um, extended fenders. It's on portal axles right now, um, bigger tires as well. Um, it's actually kind of fun because it gets a little loose too when you throw off traction control. And really? It's a little scary in a, in a car this big, but you know, it also, obviously the twin turbo V8, uh, we did FI exhaust tune, everything. Um, so what, what kind of power is it running? We have, we haven't like dynoed it or anything, so I'm not really sure, but I'm going to guess like maybe a hundred over what the stock one does. Oh, if you've done a so, tune and exhaust, at least maybe you've got to be in the sevens. Yeah. So maybe like 700, some decent six, number, 680 maybe. So it's an FI exhaust. Cause those tailpipes yep. are pretty aggressive. Yeah. I can tell you've been out with it. Uh, yeah. So we've, uh, <laughs> we've pushed this thing to the limits cause I mean, I drive my car. So we took this to a off-roading place multiple times. Uh, this thing has been literally caked in mud. Yeah. We pushed it to its limits because um, I didn't want to just build this car, have it sit, drive it on the road. I wanted to put the portal axles on it, put it to the test and see like really what it's capable of doing. Like, can it really climb? Can it really go through mud? Or is it just going to break? You know, because there's not very many people that have converted a new G-Wagon into something this big. And, and I think that's a big part of what Zero- It's standing, so. <laughs> you're doing, doing it right, but that's it's, a big part of what Zero to 60 Customs is becoming, right? Yes. You're so gonna that, try crazy stuff. Yeah, so that is the building next door to us. Zero to 60 Customs is under deep, deep construction, um, but that's going to be our automotive shop uh, where we can build stuff like this. Which is crazy. So. I've just got to take a quick look at your plates. You've got do work. You did the work for this. Yep. You've got Ring King. <laughs> GT2 RS was, of course, a ring record holder. Zero to 61, very suitable, yep. very suitable. As we come down this way, you've got Society, zero to 60 Society on the 720. This also doesn't look standard. No, so we did a <laughs> uh, full four Steiner kit on this one. Um, we also do have the AL13 wheels. These are pretty cool. They have like kind of this aero disc around it. Yeah. Um, which is pretty sick. And then the car itself, we have pure turbos, IDS fuel injectors, IDS exhaust, um, tune obviously, down pipes. It, ma it makes around a thousand <laughs> to the wheels right now. So it's- a Thousand to the wheels. It is, uh, it is insane. The right. tune is pretty cool. The tune's from M engineering and they did like rolling anti-lag. So, you know, you just uh, push in the cruise control knob at yeah. about 3,000 RPMs, builds up the boost, it shoots massive flames out the back, and you just go, I mean, it feels like an airplane. <laughs> it is it is insane. Well, any McLaren feels insanely fast to begin with, yeah. just straight off the bat. Oh yeah, even stock, it blew me away. And you've added a good, well, nearly 400 horsepower yeah. or something, 300 and then we made horsepower. It, we made it look like a fighter jet. Um, that was kind of the idea for the wrap. Um, and we're actually, in the process of trying to race a fighter jet with this car that's why we did the wrap so that'll ah. be a that'll be a pretty cool video so an unspeakable video coming yeah. up soon i've seen some of your stuff with the fighter jets yeah. uber yeah. ride by fighter jet <laughs> we, we did do that we did an uber ride by fighter jet but this that will actually be for our zero to 60 car channel for, for cool. any car related content so and then the r8 next to it i think it's a bit of a project right yes so this is a project car um we bought this car how it is there's a lot of stuff you know obviously we need to fix there's like rust we're going to redo the whole kit it is a liberty walk kit but we're going to kind of remake it and make it look like how it's supposed to look but got a steal got a really good deal on it and it's like supercharged too so oh wow cool yeah it's like 800 or something because i had um an r8 v10 spider of that generation like the previous previous model so yeah. looking at it thinking what you what you could do yeah we, we shall see soon it's cool so should we have a quick look at let's go look inside Let's go. This is a nice space. Yeah, it's pretty cool. So we are um, obviously painting right now. We're missing some flooring, so there's still a lot of construction going on. We don't have any lights here, but we have a bunch of cool things that we're adding to the space. These kind of resemble like tire marks. That's awesome. Full like solid steel. I love those kind of details, personal yeah. touches. Uh, you're basically taking 
it's kind of a man cave in some ways, but with the, the commercial space, with yep. the commercial areas. That was kind of the goal. And then I can take you around this way. So these are kind of like our smaller offices for someone that doesn't need as much space, but they still have a view of the garage. More offices over here. That one's a pretty big one as well. What a cool place to work if you're based here in Houston and yep, yep. need an office. And then this is one of our biggest offices. I can show you this one just to understand the scale or the yeah, size, yeah. but it is, I mean, this is a big room. Um, I don't know the exact dimensions, but I mean, you could easily comfortably fit like five people in here if, yeah. if you wanted to, so. And be based around all of this, which is yes. just exciting to begin yep, with. Yep, yep. Let's squeeze on out, We're heading this way. So yeah, down there we got like a kitchen. This is a meeting room right here. And then we can head upstairs right here. So we have another meeting room up here. Yeah. Actually on this other side, you can't really see it, but there's Through that, right that is going to be a giant TV. Okay. So Formula One race is on, football game, whatever, we can display it. Done. So Love it. I have to come and stop by at some point. <laughs> <laughs> For the races that aren't at Kota two hours away. Yeah. And then we have offices that go all around here. Yeah. Um, this is kind of like an open work hangout area, which is pretty cool. Nice. And this then, must have been fun. How, how involved have you been in the design of everything? Um, a bit, but too busy with videos? Little, yeah, very busy with videos, kind of half and half. Our architects have been like incredible on this project. I mean, they've picked everything in terms of like paint samples, door handles, all the tech. Yeah. So we put a ton of awesome tech in the building so you can like book meeting rooms and, you know, key card access. It's really, really cool. But this is where I'll be spending all my time. So this is kind of like our entertainment lounge, obviously still under construction. We have a large meeting room here. Then we have a balcony. We have a golf simulator, which is, this is the craziest thing I've ever seen. Um, so under this golf simulator, it's, it's a putting simulator and it has tons of like these kind of tectonic steel plates. And you can go to the screen over there, you can press a button and it will make hills really? on the ground. Yes, it is insane. I've never seen anything like this. That's cool. So it is a uh, like pretty pro cool. Go pro yeah. golfer setup. Fortunately, it doesn't work right now, but it will when we open, so. We've got to just swing out onto the balcony. Yeah. It's always fun to have a look down at cars when you're kind of overviewing the display, so this will be amazing. When this is full with cars in yeah. not very long, it's gonna be quite the view. And then obviously over this away, yep. well, mine tucked in just inside the shutter, trying not to bring too much rainwater in, your lineup. It's quite fun to look down at the 600 LT's exhaust. Over the back, the 2RS. Do you give your G63 a name? Uh, no, not really. Zero to 60 customs, I, I, G63 I, I, four I by guess, four. yeah. <laughs> It's been named now. I've never really been a, uh, a car namer. I just. But, uh, but I mean, even in terms of what you'd call the project. Oh, the, like the project name. I'm just, no, not really. I mean, we're probably gonna, uh, we'll probably call it the tank once we put snow tracks on it. So. Well, that, that, that sounds exciting. That will be the next thing we're gonna put. <laughs> we're gonna attempt to put snow tracks on that car, maybe take it up to Utah or Colorado, drive it in the snow. Up a, mount, <laughs> up a mountain. I look forward to seeing that. We'll see how it works. It's a work in progress. But, but when it comes to tech and cool gadgets and things mm -hmm. in here, yeah, we're not finished. No, we we have some pretty cool stuff over here. So we have a racing simulator over here. There's going to be another one at the other corner, but this one's pretty much all set up. Um, That's cool. Full motion, everything. VR. It, Yes, it is wild. This thing actually has rear, real brake fluid as well, right in the pedals. Wow. So, so how many hours have you lost playing on this already? We actually just got this thing like two days ago. Okay. I'm not even kidding. Uh, I've probably played it for like three hours. Um, <laughs> it is like, I've been on the track a good amount. So, you know, I understand tracks and how they work and uh, I'm a decent driver. And this thing is very realistic. Like I was very impressed with how realistic the braking is, the turning, the feedback on the steering wheel. Um, this is a CXC simulator. So apparently like Indy, Indy and I think NASCAR drivers use it to actual, actually train. So yeah. it's a pretty legit setup. 
it's no joke. I was uh, very impressed with how accurate everything was. Yeah, it's amazing how realistic these things can be. Yeah, I mean, this, these are, this whole thing will move. So, yeah. you know, if you break the, this, these hydraulics will kind of come up, those forwards. push the seat forward. It's, it's pretty unreal. I mean, hop in it if well, you want. The danger is if you sit in that seat, you're not leaving it for a while. No, 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 no. <laughs> you're going to do one lap around like Laguna in, yeah. a, in a Zonda or whatever, <laughs> whatever car you pick and you're never going to leave. But it's cool. It has like a whole touch screen over here. So um, this is the interface. So I was just doing Silverstone on yeah. it with an F40 before you came, but <laughs> you can select all types of tracks, which Run is pretty me. cool. And then all types of cars. Oh, Spent forever do. just choosing cars. All types of brands. So we can go over to McLaren. You even have yeah. like race cars too. So we have like the P1 GTR, the <laughs> F1 GTR, which is just insane. And then when you put on the VR headset, it's yeah it is like the coolest thing it goes even it further is. i mean the screens are pretty pretty high def to begin with it is it is pretty cool i almost think to myself why do i need to buy a p1 when i have this <laughs> <laughs> so i have to ask then is p1 like the dream car or is that p i would say yes p1 is yeah. definitely the dream car T to be honest like probably either p1 or Koenigsegg for me okay yeah um, I'm not very much. much on the engineering technology side. Yeah, I love Conan Six. I mean, it's just such a beautiful car. Um, have you ever been out in one? I have not. Oh, we probably need to try I and have, fix that. Yeah, I have <laughs> let not me see what been, I can do. I have not been in a Conan Six. I have been a, in a Pagani. Uh, I didn't really like it that much. Yeah, that um, was the when you met up with Steve Hamilton yeah. collection. Yeah, I mean, it's beautiful car, right? Beautiful, beautiful car. But just the way it drives, it just didn't really impress me too much. Um, but it is a beautiful piece of art. So, so no, no doubt about that, but P1 or Koenigsegg for the future. <laughs> That's, yeah. Yeah. P1 or Koenigsegg or, um, a Senna. If I get a Senna though, I'm yeah. going to like put an insane amount of mileage on it yeah. and just track it. I, well, I can tell I you mean, from experience driving my Senna lots of miles. It's yeah. not like driving the GT black series where you have comfort, luggage space, there's no quietness. Comfort. There's no comfort in Senna seats. The Senna and it's set up <laughs> so aggressively. Yeah. It, it's obviously the camber setup is super, super sharp. So it means that you're constantly, you have to be really on it. You yeah. can't just like sit back and be lazy. No, it's go, no, go, no. go. <laughs> but I would just, I would just drive that car so much. Cause I, I love the center. I love the way it feels. The P1 would be more of like a keeper for me. It'd be yeah. like a, I'm going to keep this car till I'm 60 and show my kids, you know, but, um, the center would be like, all right, let's go to McDonald's. <laughs> let's go to let's McDonald's. Go to so oh the small windows. Yeah. Good luck getting your food through it. Oh, exactly. <laughs> that's, that's what makes it fun. You know? I'm going to order a large shake and just see what happens. <laughs> Pour it all over yourself. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you can just open the door, right? You know? Yeah. Throw the door open, walk around, grab the shake. Welcome. Come in. This is zero to 60 customs. Yes. Or work in progress. Work in progress. Under a lot of construction, as you can see. Um, but this is going to be kind of like a showroom right here. Yeah. Yeah. And also like a photo booth. Okay. Makes and sense. And then up here, we're going to have some offices and whatnot. And then you can kind of walk around here and go straight out into the shop. This is cool. Wow, that's a cool shop space. Yes. Yeah, so it's Paint booth, lifts. Everything still have a lot of work to do, but um, believe it or not, this place is going to be done in under a month. So <laughs> I said again, I under how. a month. I don't know how, but uh, <laughs> it will get done. Um, oh, you can work on so much stuff in here. Yeah, there is a lot of room in here. We have a paint booth over there. Um, some lifts here, we're installing some lifts here and then we're doing some lower like in ground lifts. Yeah, so we had, to, we had to cut out all the concrete over on this side. Um, yep. And then we're gonna have a wash station here. And then we have kind of like a patio hangout area that probably won't get used a lot, but it would be well, cool. Well, the view over when you've got stuff being worked on. Yeah. Cause I'm, be I'm picturing this with like your G project or a McLaren in half or just like stuff being worked on and yeah. being done. Yeah, it'd be cool. Cause that would be kind of like a lounge spot. So. You know, if you want to go up there and eat lunch or whatever, it'd be cool to kind of sit well, up ne there. Next time I'm here, I'm going to come hang out. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we'll probably have some crazy project that we're building, so. Because the, the idea with this, just to rewind, is mm -hmm. that you're going to use Zero to 60 Customs for big, exciting projects with cars. Yes. But also sharing that process through the channel and also sharing what you do with the cars. Yeah. So, not just building them. I mean, we're a full service shop, though. So if anyone wants to come to us and build a car, or whatever they want to do, we can do that. We're not really going to do engine work, but if someone was like, I want to wide body my Huracan, or I want to build a G-Wagon like that, or I just want to stay simple, I just want to put wheels on my car. We can kind of do it all here. And then, um, 
yes, we will use this to build crazy projects, film them for the channel, and kind of share with the world what we built, so. That's really exciting. Do you know what? I love that you very kindly made it possible to come and have a yeah. look at this stage to see what it's all like. It is actually really cool to see it under construction. Yeah. It was really cool to see the other space go through construction and you know, every time I would come check on it a little bit more there, it'd be a little bit more glass, <laughs> a little bit more paint, a little bit more lights. It's small details, yeah. but we all get so attached to it. Similar what I've done with my garage build, what the Stradman's done with his dream yeah. house that he's been building. Like it's so fun to see going through this, what was in your mind probably five years ago, 10 years ago even, yeah. is now nearly at reality. Yeah, so it I makes you ready. appreciate it more too when you spend like two years building it yeah. and you're just like, oh, it's my baby now. <laughs> it's gonna be ready Gotta soon. Gotta take care of the place. <laughs> cool, let's head back to the cars. As well as the cars that are here then, you must have a daily or other cars around. Yeah, yeah, so I have, uh, I just got a, I think it's a 2022 or 2021 E63. Yeah, So nice. it's got the new like new fancy facelift, steering yeah. wheel. Yeah, I love that. Uh, we have a turbo GT. Cool. Ryan Turbo GT. Yeah, that's and cool. And um, I mainly drive my Raptor yeah. every day. To Makes be sense here in Texas. So, yeah, I mean, <laughs> if it's, I have a big dog as well, so okay. uh, she's comfy in the back, but yeah, yeah, that's kind of like my daily is like a, a Ford Raptor, so. I find it funny coming out here because there are F-150s or bigger everywhere. Oh, but yeah. But for us, you try and drive an F-150 back at home where this is already a big car, it's genuinely terrifying. Yeah, I have like 40s on my Raptor and like <laughs> I'll go, I'm just cruising down the highway and like every other truck that passes me is like even bigger than mine. I'm just yeah. like, okay, it is what it is. <laughs> <laughs> Normal stuff. Well, but. how cool to be here, to come and see your cars, to come and see a bit of your car collection, to have a look around, to see zero to 60, yeah. the way you're going with Thank all this. Thank you so much for coming. Nice. I mean, you, you're driving this whole thing across the country, aren't you? <laughs> yeah, it's what it's for. We're gonna be heading so. from here onwards towards Austin, Dakota, Circuit of the Americas, track day time. I love Coda. Yeah. You're gonna have a ton of fun. It's with, gonna be a cool track. At Coda. Definitely. Well, congrats on this. I look Thank forward you. to coming back and Appreciate seeing it all it. done. Appreciate it. Thank you so much. Thank you for your time. Appreciate it. Great to see you. It is time to roll out. So let's have a noisy start. Yes. Cool. Look at that view. What an amazing lineup just inside here. Huge thanks to Nathan for hosting us, for sparing some of his incredibly valuable time. For now, it is time for us to roll onwards. So, that was quite cool. I can't wait to come back when we're driving back across the country in the other direction to see everything completed. But for the moment, obviously, wet brakes in here. Off we head. <laughs> so cool. I mean, Nathan with his channels Unspeakable, Unspeakable 2, Unspeakable Reacts, Unspeakable Gaming, Zero to 60, learning from him, chatting with him, finding out some things about YouTube and the social media world. Inspirational, he has created something unbelievable, doing hundreds of millions of views per month, billions of views in total, many, many subscribers, and I appreciate that a lot. So a huge thanks to him for that. Anyway, onwards for us, a visit today, the first ever visit to Zero to 60 Customs here in Houston, Texas. I think they're onto some exciting things, storage, projects, everything that we've talked about, the workspace side of things as well with the different offices but that's it for this time thank you very much for watching as always guys i appreciate your support an awful lot and i'll see you again very soon cheers